Hey everybody, I'm David with Bolivar Live. Well, it's Monday at 1030 and we're here for another Real Estate Talk with Beth, where each week we talk real estate here on Bolivar Peninsula, from the Bolivar Ferry to the Highland Bridge, from the beachfront to the bay side. In the first week of every month, we do the market. The market report, you ready? Yep, let's go through and what Beth does on this is she gives a total breakdown. You give houses that were listed, houses that went under contract, prices, average prices, so, but, the, but the average is for all of them. All of them, bay to beach, like you said, high on to the ferry, so it encompasses everything. And, and beachfront are more expensive than maybe three or four rows back. So I just most want to the let, time. let everyone know that this is an average. Uh, so let's so, get to okay, it. Okay, let's go to it. All right. So um, here we are. There's me. So I'm market. Report. There you go. Okay. So the average sold price for the month of June, July, sorry, was six seventy four five twenty two. So that is like you said, everything across all, the, all across the market. Yeah, that's up from last month of twenty seven percent because, you know, you said, wow, that seems like more. It does. Well, I think it's because we had a lot of the villas at Rollover Bay closed last month or in okay. June. And then we had larger homes closed this past month in okay. July. And then the average price per foot was three fifty three. And that's overall. what it sold for. That's what it okay. sold for. Correct. You're getting this. <laughs> yeah, after a year. <laughs> um, so that's not very much different than last month. I mean, in June, compared the price per foot, but that overall sales price was higher. Right. Okay. Why didn't it go? Okay. Right now we have 297 houses on the market. That is a lot of houses to have on the market at one time. <laughs> I've said this for the last three months. We hadn't had that many houses on the market down here. And and you and I, you know, we did a show last week talking about being a buyer's end, market. Yeah. End of season homes typically go on. People are going to look at what they did this year. And I just think, and I'm not a realtor. I just think we're going to see more homes go on the market. Hey, that's going to be a lot of vac homes on the market. I a lot be of active homes. Surprised if by February or March, 230 homes on. I mean, three, 330 homes on the market. That, that's a lot of houses. Yeah, because yeah, would... you're fixing to show how big of a supply that. Is. Right. Yeah. So that's up 0.05 percent from compared to June. That's not that much though. Right? No, it's not. Well, we were, we we're at 288 houses in June, June. July's 297. So there wasn't that much go up. Right. And I added a slide in here this time to include, you know, houses that either withdrew, terminated or expired. Wow. So the average price for houses on the market is 402. And if right. you go back, I said the average price for houses that sold was 350. So there's a $50 gap in there per foot, right. which is a lot. Um, that's why houses are gap. sitting on the market because we're overpriced. And that number hasn't changed. Okay. We have a 14 month supply. It's definitely a buyer's market. That's a, that, I mean, that's a year ago, year and a half ago, a house didn't stay on the, on the MLS for 24 hours. Right. Before it went under contract. Now they're staying on uh, 14. We've got a 14 month supply, and I think you show how many days it shows on stays on the market. Yeah. Um, so, you know, and I, I said this last week. If you're a buyer and you're looking to buy something, the cards are all in your favor. You can be picky. You can make those deals happen because. There's, you got so much inventory there. Well, and the other thing is, you and I've talked about this and some other people have talked about it, the interest rate. Yeah. You know, and yes, it's higher than it has been, but it's not as high as it has been in the past. Uh, it's higher than know, it's been in my real estate years. career. Uh, but you can always refinance. If you find yeah. now's the time to get that good you can get that pro house. good price now. And you can always go back when the interest rate drops mm -hmm. and refinance it and get the better interest rate. Right. Yeah, so. you can. 
So that's one great thing. And then, you know, I've talked about patience. Watch the deals. Right. Because they're going to come up. And we talked about that last week. Yeah. About... Patience is a virtue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the average days on the market is 99 days. That's a lot. That's well, up, too. Okay. 99 days. So you put a house on the market September 1st or right after Labor Day. September, October, November, December. That's the end of the year. Actually, January probably before you're going to close. close. So if you're wanting to get into that a short term rental, now's the it's, time. That's so a good that, time. Yeah. yeah. Now's the time to actually start looking so that even if they have bookings on it already, uh, it doesn't take that long to close though. If you're looking to sell, you're going to figure that it's going to take you at least that many days to sell the what's, property. What's typical on closing if they have 30 to 45 days. Okay. Lenders aren't that busy right okay. now. Inspectors aren't busy. It's, surveyors aren't busy. Appraisers aren't busy. So, so you can get it turned quicker. You can get it turned okay. quicker. Yeah. Um, we had 18 houses go into contract last In month. July. June. July. July. And that's July. down from June. Okay. Okay. I added this slide to show, you know, because we have all these houses on the market, but not very many of them are selling. So where are they all going? Well, a lot of them are expiring, mm -hmm. yet terminating or withdrawing from the uh, market. So you don't, if you want to say, if you really want to sell, you don't want to be in this category. You know, and how many of these homes, we saw it a lot and I always see it down here. They, someone puts their house on the market and it's really not priced. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And they do that. And I've always said, you're looking for that one family that he's offered, told her we're going to buy a beach house. And all of a sudden <laughs> she says, we're going to do it now. And they fall in love with, she falls in love with that house. And so, but now there's more houses to choose from on that. And so, you know, you can't go in now and say, I want, you know, okay, the average price may be 352. I want 450. It's not going to sell. It's going to sit. It's going to sit. Yeah. yeah. And you do price analysis when for all my call, clients. Yeah, yeah. When someone calls you to sell or someone calls you to buy, you go in and get that, those numbers that's happening now. So, you know, you can help them make a decision on and give okay. them advice. Yeah. Well, and when buyers say, well, what, what do you think I should offer? Well, let's look at the numbers because I'm not emotional about it. I'm not in your pocketbook. I'm just going to show you what the numbers are and you make the decision on right. what you were, where you want the offer to be. I'm going to look at, at it by the numbers and by fact category right. buyers sometimes getting emotions involved so that's where and I'm sellers are emotionally attached to homes yeah. and a lot of them you know not so much here though a lot of it's business here but I've seen some people that I mean it's just it kills them after they've had it 30 oh years yeah or so. So, yeah okay. um okay so this is the slide which breaks everything down for us so we had three beachfront properties that sell, and they were big. Big houses. They were big houses, and the average price was three seventy-five. One of them was like six thousand square feet. Yeah, big house. First and second row, the average uh, price per foot was three ninety. We had five sell there. Third and back, the eight there was eight, and that price was three or four. And then Bayside, there were four, and the average was two ninety-nine. And that's just a breakdown. So if you're looking and you have a house, let's say it's third row and back, your average price per foot is $304. Right. Oh, cool. that's me. Oh, wait a minute. I've got something to uh, discuss. So yeah, you have, I have a yeah. bonus slide that you're not going to be able to put in the thing. So I went back five years and, you know, you're always saying, well, things are going to go back to that 2019 number pre-pandemic. Let me put this over here. <laughs> so I don't later, spill my... She's going to knock the coffee cup off. I'll Let's hope away. not. So, okay. In 2019, I went back and looked at what sold in July. 
there were 14 houses that sold and they sold for 223 a foot. Okay, we just had, you had how many closed? 18. 18 in July. So that number is really not off that much. Well, I'm sorry, 20 houses that closed okay. in um, 2019. 2023. 23. In 2019, it was 14. Okay. okay. In 2020, we had 31 sell and the average price was 235. So that was the beginning of the pandemic and things started ramping up. In 2021, there were 36 houses that sold and the average price was 297. So we're ticking up. In 2022, which we were at the height of the frenzy. Yeah, because they had already started raising those interest rates and people had locked in with their lender, a low interest rate. So it was a frenzy. Um, we had 23 houses sell and the average price was 405. Man, that's a joke. <laughs> From two what to 405? 223 to 405. So yeah. today we're at, we sold 20 and we're at 353 a foot. So we've seen a decrease. We're probably going to see more of a decrease because of the number of the houses on the market. I wonder, you know, and this includes when you buy a house like this, it includes the land, the septic, the power, everything. I wonder what it costs to build a house. You know, if you, if you built one of these houses now versus back then. Well, I know that builders, now, you're averaging about 250 a foot. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, okay. You've got so that's name, the end of the show. <laughs> you've got your name up there. You've got your website up. There, I have my phone number up there. Everything you wanted is just not scrolling. We hadn't got that far yeah. yet, but we're working on it. So, uh, your new office, how's that coming? I don't know. They were doing something over there today. So, not, I, don't, I don't go over a micromanage. Where, when do you think you'll be able to get in? It? Gosh, I hope it's about a month away. Hopefully. Cool. Yeah. That'll be neat. And yeah. it's Caddy Corner right behind her existing office. Right. Uh, actually, she's, I think you homesteaded a place in the tourism, in the conference room. I have in the office. conference room. <laughs> so, and that's just part of the benefit. So, well, Beth, if people want to get a hold of you, there's my phone number. Call me. Um, there's my phone number is what I should be saying, yeah. right? <laughs> We're looking at a screen over here. Call me. You can reach me uh, on our website. You can text me. I'm really good about uh, responding back. I look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions. And go ahead and do your spiel. <laughs> She's local. She's here on Bolivar. Um, and I can tell you, you know, we do these market reports every month. And... That's not counting the phone calls that I get during the week that says, hey, this is what's happening. This is what's happening. I've got a new house that we need to go shoot. And so she really works for her customers. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, uh, she's going to go out of her way to make sure you get the best deal possible or, or the best price possible. So you can see our show every Monday at 1030 here. It's Real Estate Talk with Beth, the only real estate show that I know of in Southeast Texas. I don't know. Really? Uh, I was looking uh, at others today to see what I could find. Cool. So we're going to head on out. We'll see you next Monday at 1030 for another version, another show of Real Estate Talk with Beth. Until next time, I'm David with Ball Over Live. Y'all have a great day, great week. Come see us. God bless and bye-bye. 110 Realty Group on Bolivar Peninsula, located in Crystal Beach, Texas, believes finding the perfect home or property is a necessity for every client that it's crucial to provide relevant, up-to-date information on the market, properties, and homes for sale to each and every seller or buyer. Keeping up with the market in today's world is how 110 Realty Group exceeds expectations for their clients. 110 Realty Group in Crystal Beach, Texas are your real estate sales professionals, both in beach home sales and property sales. Finding the perfect custom home on Bolivar Peninsula is a specialty of Beth Terminella and Leslie Armstrong. Keeping up with the daily changes and available homes, properties, and the changing market makes 110 Realty Group the choice for several custom builders for spec homes and investors looking for short-term rentals, along with home buyers looking for that perfect beach house for their family. 110 Realty Group for all your real estate needs on Bolivar Peninsula in Galveston County and across Texas.